Hello everyone, this is Upasana Acharya. I am a postgraduate in economics from University of Calcutta and also a student of IV Professional School where I have enrolled into the Business Analytics Certification course. This research project is a part of the SQL module that has been recently covered. So before diving into my research project, let's define what is SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language, which helps in accessing and manipulating databases across all modern database systems such as MS SQL Server, IBM, DB2, Oracle, MySQL, and MS Access. SQL basically helps in designing a database and the data stored in it according to the research or business objectives. Now coming to my research project, so I have performed a research study on the estimation of obesity levels based on eating habits and physical condition in individuals from Colombia, Peru and Mexico. The contents of my research project mainly uh, comprises of a brief on the research project and the data set on which I am going to perform my research study, the objectives of my research study, the important factors that I have listed out to carry out my research study, the methodology and data analysis that I have performed mainly using MySQL, the table analysis and findings from my study and lastly the conclusion that I have derived from my research study. Now coming to the research project and data set, so this data set com is uh, based on the data recorded for the year 2019 from these three countries and it consists of 2111 records across 17 attributes which are classified based on their eating habits, physical conditions and genetic conditions of the individuals. So this is the entire data set that uh, is uh, being easily available in Google. So this is a clean set of 2111 records. So no kind of data cleaning or data modification was required initially. Note that the age group in this uh, data set consists of the age group of all the records that varies from 14 to 61 years. So a data brief along with this data set comes handy along with well, when you download this data. So this data brief is prepared by Fabio Mendoza Pelshaw and Alexis Delahos Manotas uh, and it uh, briefs on how this entire data set has been uh, created or prepared. This data brief is also available in Science Direct so you can go there and easily find the data brief uh, from the website. Now coming back to the attributes that I have talked about. So the attributes relating to the eating habit are frequent consumption of high calorie food, frequency of consumption of vegetables, number of meals taken in a day, consumption of food between meals, consumption of water daily, smoking and the consumption of alcohol. The attributes that relate to physical conditions include the calorie consumption monitoring, physical activity frequency, amount of time the individuals spent on using technological devices in a day such as the mobiles, laptops, etc. The means of transportation that the individuals use on day-to-day -day basis, age, gender, height and weight. Lastly, there is only one attribute relating to the genetic condition that is the family history with overweight. So, based on these attributes which are classified in terms of their physical habit, uh, physical uh, conditions, eating habits and genetic conditions, this entire data has been prepared. And how this data has been prepared is given in this data brief that comes along with the data set. Now, before moving on to my objectives, let me tell you about one important attribute that is there in the last column of this data set and that is the obesity level. So how is this obesity level calculated? So a brief on this is also given in this data article only where you can see the calculation of the mass body index. So the obesity level is mainly calculated using this index which, which measures the gross fat in your body based on your age and weight and height. So it is calculated by weight upon square of height and based on these inter index range the individuals are classified into underweight, normal, overweight, obesity 1, 2 and 3 levels. So here the entire 
uh, classification is given based on the index mass body index ranges so here 18.5 18.5 and less than 18.5 uh, less than 18.5 categorizes individuals in the underweight levels 18.5 to 24.9 range classifies the in individuals in the normal levels the index range between 25 to 29.9 categorizes individuals in the overweight levels an index range between 30 to 34.9 categorizes individuals into obesity type 1 level an index range between 35 to 39.9 categorizes individuals in the obesity type 2 levels and any index higher than 40 categorizes individuals in the obesity type 3 level so based on this this entire column of obesity level has been calculated for each and every 2111 record now coming to the objectives of my study so the objective my objectives are mainly centric around the obese and overweight population of the three countries and three countries that is i would mainly want to see what proportion of the population are suffering from the obese and overweight population uh, obese and overweight levels uh, overweight levels and uh, what is uh, the main uh, factors that are impacting the obese and overweight levels in uh, th these three countries so based on that i have created four objectives that i would be performing on my study that is firstly to see the maximum to see the maximum count of records in each of the two categories whether it is in the obese and overweight category or in the normal and insufficient weight category once my first objective is met i would like to then see the count of records in each of the obesity and overweight levels across the entire population then once we find out the count of records in this i would like to see that in which particular age group is this maximum chunk of population belonging to belongs to that is in which age group is amounting to maximum a number of individuals who are obese or are having overweight levels for that i have divided the entire age group into eight age group intervals that is 14 to 19 20 to 25 26 to 31 32 to 37 38 to 43 44 to 49 50 to 55 and 56 to 61 years lastly i would see the impact of each of the important factors or attributes that i would be listing out to carry out my research study on the obesity and overweight levels now coming to the important factors for my study so among the eating habits i have listed out the frequent consumption of high calorie food frequency of consumption of vegetables consumption of food between meals consumption of water daily consumption of alcohol and smoking among the physical conditions i have inclu i included frequency of physical activity and calorie consumption monitoring and i have taken into account the only attribute relating to the genetic condition that is the family history with overweight now coming to the methodology so i have mainly performed a secondary analysis on the data using mysql and excel to estimate the obesity levels and the factors determining the same the table has been initially reported to mysql workbench and the data has been designed accordingly to meet my research objectives once the data is uh, imported and has been designed the data is then analyzed by the count of the records using mysql and in some uh, cases been presented through excel diagrams so now coming to my research uh, uh, before coming to my research analysis let me show you how this table was uh, imported into mysql workbench so this is my mysql workbench uh, so you can basically uh, import the table or the data set in two methods but before that firstly what you need to do is to create a database in which you would like to import your data in and then carry out your further analysis so here i have created a database research project and after creating it it would automatically show in this schemas navigator in the left hand panel of your workbench once created you would then uh, like i would then like to make it my default 
database on which I would like to carry out my uh, further analysis. And for that, I have created it a default one using the use command. <clears throat> now, once it has been done, uh, so now it is time to import my data into my research project database. So now this can be done in two methods. Firstly, you can create a table and name it along with the attributes and their gender types. So here see I have already done it. I have created a table obesity level along with the attributes and specifying their data, uh, data types. And once it is being done, you can go to MySQL 8.0 command line client. So here it is, which is already pre installed in my uh, laptop. So here I would just enter my password and then following some notable queries, you can easily import the data into this table that you have already created in your research project database. The second method in which we can create or we which in which we can import the data into the uh, database is going to the tables underneath the research project and then you right click on it and you will find this option table data import wizard where you will have to browse the uh, path of your excel file where it is stored in your device and then following the next steps you can easily import the data in your mysql workbench so in my case i have just used this table data import wizard to import my data into the mysql workbench once done i i i have seen that the name of the data set is quite long and complicated to use for my analysis so what i did is to i renamed it using the auto table followed by rename command to rename the table to obesity level so this too has renamed my table from the initial uh, name of the table to obesity level so once i have done this i would like to read my entire table using the select star command so once i run this so see this is the entire table that is already reading in my mysql workbench so my table is successfully uh, imported into the mysql workbench now coming to the data analysis part, so I would mainly perform my data analysis using MySQL queries in four parts. My first analysis will be to see the count, maximum count of records in each of the two categories, that is the obese and the overweight levels and the normal and insufficient weight levels. Once done, my second analysis will be to see the count of the records in each of the obesity and overweight levels across the entire population. My third analysis will be to see the count of individuals in each of the obesity levels based on the eight age group intervals that I have already discussed. And lastly, I would like to see the important uh, impact of the important attributes that I have listed out for my study on the obesity and overweight levels of the population. Now, coming <clears throat> before I uh, dive into my data analysis, I was again curious to know that in this entire 2111 records what is the total number of female population and what is the total male population that has been recorded in this data set for that i have used two user defined variables that is the total female and the total male once i have defined these two variables i would like to read them using the select command so when i read them so we see that the total female records in this data set counts to 1043 and the total male records in this data set counts to 1068. So in short, I can say that the male records are higher than the female records in this data set. So this was just a, a curiosity out of which I have calculated this just to see the count of the female and male records in this entire data set. Now coming to the data analysis part so based on my first analysis i would like to see the count of records in the two categories for which i have already prepared it in two different segments one for the overweight and obese group and the other for the normal and insufficient weight group so what i have done is i have selected the obesity level attribute the gender attribute and i would like to see 
the count of records or in each of the obesity level attributes based on the gender and i would like to read this entire thing from my obesity level table where i would i would filter my records based on the overweight and obesity levels using the where clause and i would like to see my count of records grouped by the gender as well as the obesity level and finally i uh, i would like to see my resultant table in the uh, resultant table in the ascending format using the order by command Uh, so before I run this, what I will do is I'll just remove this uh, if null function to explain it later on why I have used this in my queries. So now, when I run this query, so this is what my resultant table is that is shown in the result grid. So, as I move down, I see there are some null records recorded in the obesity level uh, column as well as in the gender column. To replace those null records, we basically use this if null function which replaces the null, uh, null records in your table using some user defined variable that you would like to uh, name it as. Similarly, I would like to replace the null records in the gender column and I would just leave it with a space and I would not like to name it as anything. So now if I run this table, we see that the null records has been replaced. So here in case of null, there is the total female count that is recorded, the total male count that is recorded, and the total count of the total count of the entire population that falls under this category. But you see that the name of the uh, headers are somewhat difficult or not in a proper header format. To change this, I have temporarily named these uh, column headers as obesity type and for the gender i have just kept it as gender and as the count of gender as total count so i have temporarily renamed this uh, these uh, column headers and it would not have any impact on the entire data set now if i run it so this is my entire result grid that has been shown in a proper table format. Now when I export this table to Excel and I present it in my presentation. So this is how my table looks like. So here I see that 729 female and 823 male population belongs to the obese and overweight category in all 1552 records out of the 2111 records are falling in these obese and overweight category similarly i have performed the same set of queries for the normal and insufficient weight group now if i run this and i present it in my excel table again so below the obese and overweight per category there is another table which is showing the count of records that are falling in the normal and insufficient weight category so here i see 245 male and 314 female belong to the normal and insufficient weight category in all there are total 559 records that are falling in the normal and insufficient weight category so i can well say that a major chunk of the entire population from these three countries are suffering from obese and overweight levels now that i have find out my first analysis my second analysis will be to see the count of records in each of the obesity and overweight levels for that i have done so here is my second analysis where i would like to read the obes uh, read the obesity level attribute and i would see the count of records in each of the obes uh, obesity level in each of the obesity levels based on gender 
from and i would read these two things from the obesity level and i would filter my records based on only the overweight and obesity types using the wherein clause i would like to see my records using the group by command grouped according to the obesity level obesity levels and i would like to see show my resultant table in the descending format of descending format using the order by command now if i run this so here is my result grid now if i i exported this table into the excel and i have just presented it in my excel diagram excel bar diagram so here this is the resultant diagram that from my second analysis which shows that 351 records are falling under the obesity type 1 category followed by 324 in obesity type 3 297 in obesity type 2 and 290 records eat each in over, overweight 1 and 2 levels so the maximum uh uh record number of records are basically suffering from the obesity type 1 category followed by type 3 i have performed this i would like to go to my third analysis where i would like to see the maximum count of population in each of the age group intervals for that i have performed this analysis in eight different segments based on filtering the age groups as per those defined in my research objectives so what i have done is i'll show you the first one and i'll explain the later ones in the similar way I have selected the obesity level attribute, the age, and I would like to see the count of records based on the gender from the obesity level. And I have filtered the records based on the age group 14 to 19 using the wherein clause. And I would want to see the records grouped by each of the levels of in the obesity level using the group by uh, command. And I would like to see my resultant table in the ascending order of the age using the order by command. Now, if I run this query, so this is my table. So, similar, in similar way, I have done for all the eight segments based on the eight different age group intervals. And then I have exported the table and presented the results using Excel bar diagrams. So, here these are the different uh, bar di different di uh, bar diagrams that i have presented for each of the eight age group intervals so from these different bar diagrams presented for eight different age group intervals i see that the maximum amount count of records that are falling to in the obese and overweight category mainly belongs to the population in the obesity in the age group 20 to 25 years followed by those in the 26 to 31 years and the count is significantly lower in the age group 14 to 19 and then beyond 31 years of age so see uh, below 30 uh, beyond 31 years of age the numbers are significantly uh, decreasing and they are even reducing to single digits so we can say that the maximum amount of population who are belonging to the obese and overweight category mainly falls under the age group 20 to 25 and 26 to 31 years of age. So basically the younger uh, age group of the population are obese or are having overweight levels. Now that I have performed my three analysis, my fourth analysis will be to see the impact of the important attributes that i have listed out which will have the effect on the obese and overweight levels for that what i have done is so here is my fourth analysis so i have selected the obesity level attribute along with the attributes that i have selected based on my eating habits physical conditions and genetic conditions so here it is family history with overweight frequency of high calorie food frequent consumption of vegetables consumption of food between meals smoke consumption of water daily daily calorie consumption monitoring 
physical activity frequency and consumption of alcohol al alcohol so these are the important attributes that i have already discussed earlier that i have chosen to perform a research study on i want to see the impact of these attributes on my obesity level wherein the obesity level records are filtered for the overweight and over obesity type 1 2 and 3 so i would basically like to see the impact on these three obesity on these uh two obesity levels only that is the overweight and obesity types and i would like to see the records grouped by each of the obesity level uh obesity and overweight levels and i would want to see the resultant table based of on the count of records using the order by command so now if i run this query so this is my entire result grid on exporting it to excel i would like to present it more clearly using my excel table so this is the excel table uh, that has been generated from the result grid here we see that the factors influencing the obesity type 1 are family history with overweight frequent consumption of high calorie food uh, frequent consumption of uh, food between meals and no calorie consumption monitoring uh, the factors influencing obesity type 3 category individuals are the family history with overweight, the frequent consumption of high calorie food, smoke, consumption of water daily, limited consumption of water daily, no calorie consumption monitoring, no physical activity frequency. The factors influencing obesity type 2 level categories are family history with overweight, frequent consumption of high calorie food low consumption of vegetables smoke limited intake of daily water uh, and no physical uh, no physical activity frequency and frequent consumption of alcohol the factors influencing those belonging to the overweight level ones are mainly low uh, daily water intake no calorie consumption monitoring and frequent consumption of alcohol and the factors influencing those falling in the overweight level 2 category are cons low consumption of daily water intake no calorie consumption monitoring and no physical act uh, activity frequency at all so in short we can say that the major significant factors contributing to obesity and overweight levels are family history with overweight frequent consumption of high calorie food low intake of daily drinking water no proper calorie consumption monitoring no physical activities smoking and consumption of alcohol now that i have carried out all my table analysis and findings i would like to draw the following conclusions firstly family history with overweight is a genetic condition and this cannot be erased Secondly, now that I have seen in my table that people have, uh, uh, people are having low intake of water, so pe so they should be more conscious about it, and they should have a regular intake of at least four to five liters of water a day. They can even replace consumption of food between meals with a glass of water at every hour. Thirdly, frequent consumption of high calorie food should also be substituted with frequent consumption of vegetables and fruits. Uh, alongside daily water intake then consumption of alcohol which may not be completely erased but at least should be minimized and kept in control and calorie monitoring should also be strictly followed fifthly physical activities should strongly be uh, encouraged in one's daily activities like walking exercises or some kind of sports lastly sleep time which is not uh, there as an attribute in my data set but i would still like to mention is that sleep time is an important factor in determining the gaining of weight uh, overall so it is strongly recommended of course by every medicinal medical practitioners that going early to bed and rising early in the morning is equally crucial to stop gaining weight further so this is my entire research project that i have carried out thank you <music> Oh,